welcome on to this youtube channel under the heading transfer of heat we are going to see about conduction convection radiation in this video but before to move let's have some introduction about heat heat is a form of energy the intensity of hotness is called temperature everybody knows that we can't accurately tell by touching just the exact temperature so our sense of touch is not so much accurate therefore a device or an instrument called thermometer is to be used for measuring temperature heat is the cause of temperature the normal human body temperature is about 37 degrees celsius and there is a mark on your clinical thermometer now some question arises there why does the heat in the water heated to boiling slowly decreases once it is taken off the flame where does this heat go you might have observed some droplets of water on the glass where ice cubes are kept inside it the moisture in the air cools down due to the ice cubes in the glass and collects on the outside of the glass and therefore we see droplets of water on the glass now about the sun we get heat from the sun the sun heat has many effects and uses but exactly do you know how does this heat reaches up to us or up to the earth there is the one reason only and that is transfer of heat when we take a hot object in the vicinity of cold one the cold object becomes warm and the hot one becomes cooler from this we can infer that heat is transferred from a hot body to a cold body transfer of heat means the flow of heat from one place to another there are three ways of transfer of heat the first one is conduction the second one is convection and the radiation now let's see one by one the first one is conduction it is the process by which heat is transferred from hotter end to the colder end of solid object here the particles get heat energy and vibrate and passes it to the next particle here we have to notice they just vibrate and give their energy to the adjacent particle they do not leave their own place so to prove this let's have some experiment take one iron bar and copper bar apply wax spots with the help of candle at fixed distance and stick up some pins or needles to these spots now start heating we can see that the needles or the pins start falling from the end near the burner it means that transfer of heat takes place from the hot end of the bar to the cold the pins on the copper bar start falling first than the pins on the iron bar that shows conduction of heat through a substance depends on the property of that particular substance we are using now from these experiments we can infer some points conduction of heat takes place through solid substance shows that a medium is very necessary for the conduction of heat and the second one is definition itself the transfer of heat from the hot part of solid object to the cold part is called conduction now let's see about the second part that is convection convection is the flow of heat that is through a liquid or fluid we can say that takes place from higher temperature to the place of lower temperature by movement of the fluid itself here particles get heat energy they vibrate and one point is to notice here and they move itself through the liquid from hotter part of the liquid to the colder part to give hotness to their other particles to prove this some experiment is there take water with crystals of potassium permanganate and start heating and observe we can see streams of water going upwards and coming back to the bottom due to the potassium permanganate we can have some special color streams can be identified very easily when heating begins the water near the bottom becomes warm and its density decreases as a result it moves upwards and is replaced by cold water coming from above in this manner heat is transferred by means of currents and from this experiment we can infer that the current in a fluid that results from convection is called convection current the second one is convection needs a medium and the third one is convection can occur in liquid as well as in gaseous substances so friends now the we are going to for third that is way of mode of transfer of heat that is radiation it is mode of transfer of heat in which it easily or we can say directly transferred here no medium is required the basic difference between conduction convection and radiation here no medium is required to prove this let's have some examples or some experiences you might have in your daily 
life a routine life light a candle and stand it upright hold your hands on its two sides at some distance from the candle bring them closer what do you feel have you warmed yourself near a bonfire you might have sat in the morning sun in winter the sun is millions of kilometers away from us there is no air between the sun and the earth the earth's atmosphere is only a thin layer of air close to the earth then how does this heat of the sun reaches up to us the heat we get in all of our examples are due to transfer of heat even in no mediums and that is called radiation this is very special mode of transfer of heat that is radiation so we can infer the transfer of heat that takes place even in absence of medium is called radiation friends now let's see about some reflection absorption of heat when heat rays fall on an object a part of the heat is absorbed by the object and some part of it is reflected the ability of substance to absorb heat radiation depends on its color and also on its intrinsic property dark color objects absorb radiations better than the light color objects and that is why we can feel better in light colored clothes in summer so friends thank you for watching this video and if you think it is useful to you please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much